just look at that British engineering at its best this my friends is a miniature Titanic if you lost it's a Sutcliffe ocean liner and it's absolutely beautiful just look at that this was made in the 1950s a bit before my time but uh, this is a sort of toy what my uh, old pa would have played with he'd have gone trotting down to the local village shop just like I did when I was a child and he'd uh, send outside the shop window with all his friends and they'd look in at amazement at a Sutcliffe stand where all the Sutcliffe products would be on sale and this is what he would have looked at toys like this in the 1950s uh, and as far as I know he he never had one as a child uh, and quite ironically you know 20 odd years later or whatever it was I did exactly the same used to shoot off down to the local toy shop every Saturday and stand outside looking in at all these fabulous Sutcliffe toys um, but this one would not have been for sale then it was the next generation which would have been things like this this is the ones I grew up with uh, the submarines uh, also boats but for this little video we're going to just show you this one it's called Viking and it's described in the uh, Sutcliffe catalogue as a two funnelled ocean liner and I've had a good look around this one it's quite a recent uh, purchase and I don't think it's ever been used because the condition is absolutely superb and for a special treat we can have a go winding it up so what you'd do with one of these you'd stick your little index finger on the propeller and give it a few winds now the word on the street is that you would only wind these up about eight or nine turns let me get it there again uh, yeah so you, you, you trot off down to your local bond give it about nine turns on the key and uh, off she go, she'd go sailing away at that Of course, I suppose uh, you get a few kids what were full of testosterone, and they'd uh, they'd wind it up till it it grinded and and everything, and that's how these these clockwork motors uh, got overwind and broke, and they'd never go again. Uh, these were made in Leeds, in England. That's the packaging. Well, what I'll do, I'm just going to try and zoom in on this so you can have a better look if I can. Yeah. Alright, let's have a look at this, this little beauty. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful. They just do not make toys like this anymore. And that's the packaging. And this is where there was made Sutcliffe pressings. Whoops. Right, let's just uh, let's see if we can zoom in. Paint works a bit too. Uh, it looks weathered. I mean, it's 60 odd years old. That's your decal. Uh, on the top there and there she is my friends the Sutcliffe Ocean Liner
well I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did uh, please give it a like and give me some feedback uh, and that's it for now um, anyway hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you very much for watching